you know, the guys came out and played in the, the game today. Um, it's always trying to create a standard for how you play, you know, competitors. Uh, always want to prove something, always challenge themselves. Um, and, you know, I thought our diet guys did a pretty good job of that today. I think the turnovers, five turnovers were probably, you know, big in terms of uh, the score ended up the way it did. Uh, but I thought, you know, Mac was pretty efficient. Made a lot of explosive plays, you know, on offense. Didn't throw it maybe as much, but made a lot of explosive plays. And, uh, I was pretty pleased with the all-around performance in terms of uh, the way the defense played and um, the turnovers that they got. You know, made a big play on special teams, so you know a lot of good things. Probably the one big negative is fumbling the ball. You know, first and three into three. You know, those are all kinds of things that we need to to learn from. But um, sure, we'll look at this game, and a lot of guys got to play in this game, which is really good. Um, you know, we had a lot of new guys playing up front on defense, but we got to play a lot of players, and they played a significant amount of time. And I think this experience, you know, obviously helped their development and uh, helped us down the road. But you know, now we got to get, you know, focused on what's ahead, and I'm sure our players will be ready to do that. Sir, we got Michaels. You said you were anxious to see some of those younger guys in the defensive line. Uh, how do you think they perform overall, the, the guys who don't normally play? High well, I, I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, I, I thought that, especially on the inside runs, for the most part, we did a pretty good job. I think, you know, any plays that they made were on boots, edges, losing container on the quarterback. Um, not really something that the interior guys had a lot to do with, so uh, I haven't watched the film yet, but um, we, 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 I felt like we were in control of the line of scrimmage pretty well now. You know, obviously their guys are not as big and as physical as what we're going to face, you know, in the future. Um, but I was not disappointed, and I'm sure the experience did them a lot of good. Right, Charlie? You mentioned the turnovers. Just how big was the play of both uh, Xavier McKinney and, and Jerry Maiden today? Well, I think, you know, they were all big. And obviously, anytime you score on defense, you know, that's, that's a big thing. Um, you know, we practice that a lot. Intercept the ball, go down the numbers, everybody blocks. Um, and I thought there were some guys that got some great blocks on that. And X did a great job of carrying it in. But, uh, you know, he had two picks and Jared had two picks. And I think the turnovers led to like 35 points in the game. So the offense converted on them. And uh, that's, that's really good. We'll stay on the back of James. Coach, last year you shared a great story about your recruiting visit with Ross Piercebaker in your press conference after senior day. I was wondering if you had any memories like that that came up today while you were going down the line. You know, uh, Jared Maiden's mom said, uh, I don't know, you know, when I was on a home visit with them, we had a little line dancing contest, so I had to step through it for him, and she reminded me of that today. And actually said, "Do you want to dance?" So, <laughs> I said, "Not today." <laughs> Nick Devontae Smith sort of slider frame. I think he's listed at 175, but no one really ever gets to really jam him. What allows him to be so effective at that size? Who are you talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know the guys. Uh, you know, combination of even though he's a. Uh, a thin built guy. Uh, he's uh, really not frail, doesn't play frail, doesn't play uh, weak. You know, he plays strong and you know, he's got a combination of pretty good quickness and pretty good explosive speed and a um, very competitive guy. And I think he uses all those things really, really well. But, you know, the way he plays, you know, some guys are bigger than him, but they play small. Uh, he doesn't play small at all. And I think it's just, you know, who he is as a competitor and as a person. And that's the way he's always been, and that's the way he's always played. So, um, you know, he doesn't have any issues. He doesn't get pushed around much. Coach, we'll finish up up front unless somebody has a call. Coach Saban, this is the program's 10th, I mean, excuse me, the 12th 10 win season in a row. Um, talk a little bit about the level of commitment that that takes to build a program like this. Well, you know, um, I, I think what I talk to the players about a lot is you know, we've only had one team, um, I think, in the last 12 years that lost more than one game in the regular season. So 
So, you know, 10 wins is always great. Um, and I think to have that kind of consistency over time takes a lot of players who are very good players, who are very committed to a standard. And we've certainly, you know, had that through the years. And uh, this team has probably had to overcome more uh, in terms of losing really, really good players uh, and other guys having to step up uh, to fill in for them uh, at critical positions. And, uh, that's still going to be the test you know, down the road for this team to see how we finish. But you know, everything comes down to how you finish. You know, I mean, we've given ourselves an opportunity to this point. One in ten games is great. Um, but you know, we want to finish the right way, and it's going to be a very challenging game for us against a very good team to try to do that. But I think the consistency and performance is always what sort of defines success. And you know, to have that many 10-win seasons, 12 in a row, is really probably you know something that I'll, I'm pretty proud of, and I think it's something that you know the legacy of each team that accomplished that. Uh, all those guys should be proud of the legacy they created by what they did while they were here as well. Back. Right here, Coach. Uh, how much energy did uh, Tua provide? I know he was just you know on the sidelines, but how much just having him here? How much did that provide the team? Well, you know, I think that when a guy has a great spirit uh, and he's a leader, um, I don't think that uh, you just have to be a player that goes out there and plays, you know, to affect other people. Um, I think his spirit and his leadership, uh, his standard of excellence, example that he sets, is something that. Uh, even though he's unable to play now, people have a tremendous amount of respect for the players on our team, have a tremendous amount of respect for, and uh, I think, you know, it, it, it encourages them uh, to know the adversity that he's having to overcome um, to give them the opportunity to go out there and be the best that they can be and, you know, appreciate that opportunity and have gratitude that they can go out there and play um, and try to emulate a guy who sets a good example like Tua does. What you see from Mack when he threw the ball? He threw a couple down the field today. What you see from those deep balls? Um, you know, he, I thought he threw the ball well. Um, and, you know, I, I, we knew that the way they play defense that we were going to have to take some shots. And, um, you know, but he did a good job of throwing the ball to grass on some of those posts, you know, where they're chasing guys. Um, so I, I, thought he, I thought he threw the ball well, and he was accurate on the deep ball. I know we missed one, but, um, you know, we just want to keep building on his confidence and uh, our confidence in him um, that he's going to go out there and do his job well. Last question. You talked about the young guys on the defensive line, but more specifically, what did you see out of Christian Barmore today, and how have you seen him progress this year? Yeah, well, he's uh, been a guy that has really progressed uh, all year long and improved. Uh, we always knew he was a guy that had a tremendous amount of ability, especially as a pass rusher, an inside pass rusher, which we really needed. Um, you know, the, the learning curve for him um, coming, you know, from a, a, a background where, you know, he came in here and probably wasn't as advanced as some of the other players that we have on the team. Um, it's, it's just been a work in progress to get him to understand how we need him to play and what his assignments are and how important it is to do those things well. And that's what he's really made a tremendous amount of progress in. And uh, he's become a pretty consistent performer because of that. And he's made a lot of plays because of that. And uh, that's the one thing we always try to get guys to understand. You know, they all want to make the play. Right? But how about doing your job? And if everybody does their job, we'll make a lot of plays. You'll make some, some other guys will make some, but when everybody does their job on defense, then you got a much better chance to be successful. All right, thank you.